Hello mate, welcome back. <laughs> In this episode, we are going to do some more work with our classes file, hopefully finish that off today. And then we'll see what we do for time. Before I get started, a huge thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. And of course, if you are interested in supporting the channel, you can do so by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button, or you can simply visit the Patreon in the description down below. Let's jump into this then. So what we've got here is our classes file. And what I want to do is add a couple more classes, or maybe let's just work on one at a time. Let's concentrate on one at a time, people. So we're going to create a new class. And this one is going to be a places class, and it's going to inherit from the object again. And we're going to say define, underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. And we're going to give it a name a nice name uh, unlocked and map so that's cool so we're going to say self dot name equals name self dot nice name oops nearly spelled it incorrectly equals nice name self dot I know I spelled unlocked incorrectly up there I'll fix that in a second equals unlocked Good lord, typing is bad today. And uh, self.map equals map. Cool. We're also going to give this a property, and the property is going to be called uh, map icon uh, self. Don't know why I put a carriage return in there, didn't need one. Define a map icon return value equals and then we're going to give this a file name ui forward slash map forward slash map underscore dot png and we're going to replace those curly braces with self dot name and then we're going to return the return value and that's all there is to that Basically what we've got is we've got I'm going to create a list of locations and we're going to have the we're going to have the ability to check if that location is unlocked if it's a map location because there might be locations we can get to via other means but we don't necessarily want them to be on the map and if they are on the map then we have a way of referencing what the image file is going to be for the icon on the map when we eventually create that. So don't worry, we will have to go through and check all of these variables and all of the files that we need to create later on. But for now, we just wanna get the code in place. Two other things that I wanna do while I'm in the classes file. The first thing I wanna do is create a method or a procedure which unlocks our location so we need to say global locations now we haven't created that yet but don't worry or Q in locations if Q dot name equals equals place in other words we'll rattle through the list of locations until we find one that matches the value that we've pumped in there and then we're going to simply say Q dot unlocked equals true. Simple as that. So now we've got a method so we can just say like unlock kitchen or whatever and it'll search through and if it doesn't exist then it just won't do anything which is ideal. I also want to do a method called next which simply goes to our global sequence variable and it says sequence plus equals one. So what that'll do is when we just say next, all we have to do is call this and it will just add one to our sequence. It's you know neither here nor there really. It's three lines of code that does one line of code's work, but it just reads better when we're writing out our code. To be completely honest, that's really all we're doing for. Um, so let's have a think. Have we got everything that we need here in our MPC, oh, we can add a method here, which simply just says, uh, so we can say define go to 
and we can say self dot num and we can say global and we're going to reference this re this variable we haven't created yet we'll do that in a minute reference global locations and we're going to say self dot location equals locations num dot name and then rempy dot retain underscore after underscore load there we go and that just makes sure that we don't accidentally reset our location every time we load the game so it'll keep these uh, variables where we want them to be so i think that's pretty much our classes file completed to be honest i suppose there is one other thing that we could do but we might do that later on and that's just create a procedure that plays the specific music for a room that we're in or something like that but we can save that now so what we need to do now is we need to remember our places class which is down here and we need to create some locations so we're going to go into our variable defined and in this init variables and above it we need to go to default locations and spell locations correctly and we're going to make it an empty list and then we're going to just add a couple of rooms so locations.append and now we can go back to our classes file and we can actually just copy these properties here control c control v and now we know what properties we actually need to add so this has got to be a string so let's say this one is going to be the kitchen and we don't need to put we don't need to capitalize that one this one we're going to capitalize it is unlocked so we're going to say yes and map we're also going to say true there now we can just copy and paste this a few times and we can call this one the living underscore room this one can be my underscore bedroom this one can be uh, garage no let's call this let's go with a pool for this one every house in my universe has a pool because everyone's minted uh, kitchen living room bedroom pool bathroom no, don't capitalize that cool so now we can go here and we can just write a nice name for this one so living room and this one's going to be my bedroom this one's just going to say pool and this one's going to be bathroom capitalized of course so now we've got a series of locations we've got a living room place now so when we are in the living room this clicky will appear presuming that we actually have a file set aside for it so we also need to create and this is where i like to create a file inside my game folder and i'm just going to call this one notes you don't have to give this one an extension it's just going to be an empty text file so this is just a list of things that we need to create so we can come back into our uh, classes file which is there and in our place we've got so we need to create this so i'm going to copy that put that in my notes file and this is just an aid memoir so i know what files to create so for all locations we also have if i'm not much mistaken this file that we need to create and avatars for all characters which we haven't actually got any of just now something else we need to fix and we can go back through our classes file again and we can just make sure that we've got at least this this is a list we don't need to worry about this right now because we've already kind of made note of that so we also need to add a default sound effect and that will be for the clickies class come back to our classes folder we need to create a background jpeg and background for locations cool beans and what else have we got right that's it for our classes we've defined the variables 
So that's our classes file, believe it or not, complete. Nice, tidy, simple code that does exactly what we need it to do. In the next video, we're going to work on the scripts file and the game loop. Thanks very much for watching this, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you found that informative. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.